Hello everybody, it's Elena. Today I'm going to share with you another fabric book I made and I'd like to try, I like to try different things like different uh, shapes and this time for example I made a round fabric book uh, which is different from those I made in the past because they were all rectangular and uh, well I put the bag of my camera here just to help me hold the book as I go through the pages so this one will be a gift to the wife of one of my husband's friends and she likes decorations and frilly things so I put lots of, lots of elements in the book it's quite big and chunky and lots of dangles and uh, um, like I said it is the first time I make a round fabric book I won't explain how I put it together, but I give uh, in the description box the link to a video by Margaret that explains exactly how to put it together. And before watching that video I had no clue at all and it helped me a lot. And also um, I make, uh, uh, I've used in the book something I, re I was really scared of and that is colored elements and uh, I was really afraid of using colored elements in a fabric book because I thought I would have turned the book into something loud with mismatching pages and uh, something horrible all in all but instead I, I, want, I tried and uh, I'm really pleased of how it turned out so this is the first page it has an image from Pinterest as, as well as all the other image, images I've used for this book and uh, well I put it here because you know there are the dangles so it's easier to turn the pages and uh, I just added a little a tiny bling to the ladies necklace and uh, without mentioning every single detail I just tell you that uh, first of all I gather I cut a strip of ivory satin gathered it all around the book and of course being this round book there will be layers and layers of gathered trim and uh, uh, oh, just, one, uh, just one thing the pages are made of uh, um, a thick cotton fabric in Italy it's called piquet from the French and uh, I don't know if uh, it has the same name in English it is, like I said, a thick cotton fabric with a pattern which is sort of honeycomb pattern and it is great to work with. And here, like I said, I, I just, well, I just formed the frame put it using many uh, pieces of trims and put pearls and um, crystals and strings of beads here and there and I made uh, uh, three flowers this one is made uh, from a cloth, from um, a fabric, a fabric which is similar to cheesecloth, and those two are made with organza, and uh, the strings of beads. Yes, I've already said that, and then um, I just added here um, one of a pair of very very old earrings, and so this is the first page and I tied the book with some seam binding because it is chunky and here we have the second page it is the pocket page I covered the page with some vintage white lace and formed the page the pocket sorry with a, a doily and then embellished it with some pieces of trims flowers here and there here I've used a, a beautiful white garland and I also bought one in uh, purple and I've used some on the top it's, there's a piece of uh, genuine vintage lace I love the scallops and uh, I hope you can see them among the dangles I put some threaded seed beads and long beads sometimes I do this I thread beads because it's relaxing and I just put them to have a bit of interest and uh, I made, so there are three flowers I bought, one, two, 
and three, one, two and three. And I made the two other ones. This one is a simple rolled um, trim, rolled, rolled crochet trim. And I made this rose um, with a length of ribbon. I created the concertina and then I pulled one of the tails. And here we go to the first colored page I ever made. There's this beautiful image of this lady. I love the color of her dress and uh, I framed the image with uh, the different trims from um, beady trims to um, lace to lace trims. Here for example there's a beautiful vintage lace with flowers. I just added um, resin flowers with a little rhinestone in the center and this gorgeous lace with a point that's a wonderful frame. Then I just added more, I created some swirls with um, a beaded string, add some rhinestones here and there and gathered uh, some lace of course at the top and at the bottom and I added this beautiful burgundy trim to match the dress of the lady. Let me see, yes, and uh, at the bottom I added this fringe, it is gorgeous, it is pale gold fringe and it gives a lot of, a lot of interest to the, the dangle part. And then there are two pieces of trim and uh, between the, page, the pages, in the gap between the pages, I put just a piece of this uh, beautiful gold and multicolor trim and uh, I added a little bow at the bottom. And then we have the flower page. So the flower page is a big flower with another flower in the center. I decided to make the page itself as a flower and I layered many and many doilies and trims and gathered them, them of course all around the page and you can see, well this is the one that was behind, I made, I've used um, a doily, the, the outside part of a doily because I've already cut it for something different this is one I made and then uh, uh, many layers of different trims as you can see this one is vintage a pink one crochet one just to create a dimensional flower the page is a flower itself and then I created I made this flower for the center it has uh, some genuine vintage trim here and uh, it's just a normal flower with some dangles here, I, I made some, I've used some uh, frame uh, cloth and uh, satin and a string of, of beads, a tassel, well yes I create a sort of a tassel. And here we have another colored page. I love the image of, the, of this lady she's holding a cat and I think that um, the lady will give it, I will give the book to, will love it too because she loves cat a lot as much as I do and so there's this image and I just added a little rose, ribbon rose here I made uh, the same way as I did the other one and uh, I, added if, I added this three gorgeous flowers, they come in a strip and I cut them apart and place them this way then some more garland, some flat back pearl and uh, the piece, pieces of trims, well mostly apart from the flower page I cut some trims into pieces and put them uh, to build a round shape if you see what I mean and uh, there's some gather trim here some uh, pink pearls and I, I outlined these flowers with tiny flat back pearls all around the edge and then I put this beautiful 
green feathers and uh, made a stick pin and uh, um, sorry I was out of camera and a metal butterfly and this is it for this page and here we have another pocket page okay another pocket page and I create this pocket page I put some lace underneath as well and I created this pocket page by layering pieces of uh, uh, trims trims that had this this shape very important and elegant trims I cut three of them here two of them above and uh, I doubled this part because I didn't want it to flop out to flop over I added two flowers and some spray and again three of these gorgeous flowers then at the bottom I've used this beautiful trim just a piece three three elements and I put a rhinestone in the center and uh, I cut uh, I've used the butterfly applique some more gather trim on top and this is uh, um, this is part of this trim too because in the middle no sorry this is it's not part of the string this belongs to the strip where there are these roses there's one rose and uh, um, a sort of a bunch of leaves so I cut the leaves I gather them a bit and put them here and another butterfly and uh, a little crochet piece and some pieces here and there of gathered uh, trim. This one, for example, is um, genuine vintage. And then we have the most daring page. I thought I would make a mess with this one, but instead I, lo I like it a lot. So, um, I've used this image of a lady sewing and uh, I decided to add something brown and gold. So, I created a sort of frame with resin flowers two shabby rosettes and uh, little resin pieces here and this piece of this gorgeous trim it is a brown and uh, antique gold or copper or something like that and uh, then again I cut this beautiful trim into pieces and I'll do here one there and then I put more gathered lace and trims here and there all different and uh, the um, I created a dangle cutting a piece uh, pieces of uh, this string of flowers I cut different pieces I put them at different lengths just to go around the um, the, the shape on the page and uh, I put just uh, a little flat butt, per flat butt pearl in the center of each flower on this side and the other. And in the center I've used uh, a piece of this gorgeous trim. It is a strip of uh, um, this gold metallic uh, material and uh, it already had uh, all these beautiful pieces of rhinestones in it and I love it very much and then I just added a tassel I think this was from a kit but I'm not sure and it comes it, it already comes with this beautiful jewel as I think it adds inter interest but it's not in my opinion it's not too loud I mean it's gold it's gold but they are two different kind of gold so if you see what I mean I really like it and uh, this is a beautiful uh, chocolate color trim and uh, I think it went perfectly here to match a bit the color of the background okay here it is and uh, I forgot to tell you that how I covered the spine in the center so I just added a piece of the um, crochet trim all around the spine And on the back, I just put three 
uh, organza rosettes. They are from um, a big strip. The, there are six lines, six, six rows. And uh, I cut just three of them and put them here. Just I, I didn't want to overdo the spine because it's almost covered by other embellishments. And the last page is a doily page. And uh, I've used doilies, mostly doilies I made, and uh, like this one, and another one. I layer just three or four, do two or three doilies, and then at the side I put this gorgeous, it's like pick of feathers, I think. I just put five of them, and of course I cut them individually because they had to follow the round shape. I mean, in this book I couldn't uh, use uh, um, horizontal strip, strips, if you see what I mean. I had to cut everything into pieces and arrange everything around the, the round shape. And uh, so I made, then I used uh, a leaf, I made, I crochet, and uh, this gorgeous piece of tatin, I cut it from uh, a doily I had in a kit, this tatin doily, I love it. And uh, I made just a little puffy flower with two layers and I added a gorgeous bling in the center. And so, like I said, I tied it. I tie the book so the pages don't go here everywhere and uh, I hope the lady liked, uh, will like it sorry, I hope the lady likes it I mess up all the time, sorry and uh, I hope you enjoyed it too thank you very much for watching have a good day, bye bye